Hey, welcome to the inaugural Vibble number one or Video Blast number one, where we are going to be talking about what problems mean to projects tonight. So when you look at slide number one, you can see that problems cause projects. And so I took a little spin on that because really we wouldn't have projects or we wouldn't have project management without problems. And so you can see there with this small little phrase below that I've said that the value of a project is tremendous in, in, in that it solves problems. So what is a problem? Well, as you can see, there are a couple of definitions of what a problem is shown here on this particular slide. And I've listed a problem here, and I've listed a problem down here. And there is a problem as we understand a problem that can be personal. And that's kind of this upper problem that I've listed here. And that it can be intimate to one's being. But also shown as a problem, as I show down here, that is a problem defined in the business context. That it is the context which we wish to focus on for this particular course in project management. So when we look at both of these problems, right, when we look at these definitions and both of these problems, we look at it from that business context and we look at the problems in a way that has us desiring as project managers to move these problems to a better state. So we have a current state, which is our problem, and we need to elevate it and move it to a better state. So as you can see, I show here a couple glasses of water. And as you can see, they're, depending on your perspective, they're, they're uh, shown to be about half full. And with these two glasses of water, both half full, but both are viewed differently in terms of their state of being, right? I mean, the idea here is I want to be able to show that we have good problems. That is, you look at the glass half full, so we look at it optimistically. But we have bad problems where we look at the glass that is half empty, right? And so that could be considered, well, it's not a great problem. And so the whole point of this graphic that I'm showing you is that in organizations, there are two types of problems that we must understand, good problems and bad problems. And, you know, as much as we fix bad problems, we also need to fix good problems. And so understanding that we don't hold back in managing projects. And so we address both types of problems. And as a result, we look to maybe have more than our share of business uh, opportunity in managing and elevating the operations of the business. So it's important that we understand the good and the bad and that through projects we deal with these issues accordingly. Slide number three comes back to our postal carrier. And it's the story, as you know, of the postal carrier. It's all about package delivery. And in this case, the package is the project, as you can see here in the picture. Uh, we've got a little package here. And we're kind of wondering what, maybe what's in that package, right? What does the package represent, really? And a lot more than I think than it meets the eye. And as we see it as a project deliverable in the form of a package, but what is it really representing, right? Well, think about the package being delivered here for a moment, all right? And now think about the recipient. And in this case, the recipient could be the person who answers the front door, and it could be the head of the household, but really it's, it, we could look at it as the customer, right? And now think about how, if you were that customer, how you would feel when you receive a big package, right? When you receive a big package that could be a project, right? At that front door, how do you feel? Well, in this particular instance, I gave us some examples of what could potentially be in that package. It could be a new toy, it could be a new iPhone, it could be fresh flowers, it could be your favorite book. I mean, it's wonderful to know that there's a package delivery that makes you feel really, really good. But here's the question, is that what is it resolving? How is it elevating you to the next state? And so this is the task I have for you moving forward up and until our next Vibble number two. And that is, what is the problem being solved in our examples above? I want you to think about these four examples. And I want you to think about what problem is being resolved. So I'm going to reverse it on you, is that we have the, the solution here. We see that what the project is resolving, but what was the problem in the first place? That's what I want you to think about. I will talk to you later on Vibble number two. Have a great evening.